Hey guys, it's Miki Sama Unlimited. It's Friday. And we are here to do another one of the best card evers. And we basically, we talk about a very old prehistoric card that is, you know, the best card ever. So, if you guys would like to see more best card evers, you have to like the video. Normally, this segment is pretty good, but you have to show that you really care about it for it to continue. 550 likes for the segment to continue. Mm -hmm. That's 550 likes. And then also, Click if you comment below. down below, you can win a free pack of the Secret Forces. And the winner from, we announced the the winner at the end of the video so the winner from our last video will be announced at the end of this video so stay tuned because you possibly could be the winner so in this video in the rare cards we're talking about king of destruction zazex isn't it that card you're always you know yeah like the, that nobody the, knows why you the, have such an a, a, like you know affection for this card yeah but I'll, I'll get more into the joking side of this card towards the end of the video while i'm going to get into the history of the card now so EX6, King of Destruction EX6 came out in 2005 in the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships Tournament. There are only two King of Destruction ZX out there in the whole world. One is owned by Konami. So technically... There's only one in the world. Yeah. And the person that won it, I'll let you say his name. I'm not 100% good with names, so I'm going to let you say his name. I did not read that name before that. Yeah. <laughs> I did not read his name before that. The guy's from Greece, so I'm not really very good with the name. Miltiadis Marku. Okay, so that's good. Yes, Miltiadis Marku. All right, so this person won King of Destruction. Let's call him Miltank. <laughs> <laughs> Miltank won <laughs> King of Destruction the <laughs> It's his birthday. So, um... The Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships were held in 2005, and the date was August 7th, 2005. I have evidence of people competing in the event. Footage from the tournament? Yeah, I have footage from the tournament of people competing at the Damn, event. Damn, son, where'd you get this? Where'd you find this? I have my ways. <laughs> Even though there's only one EX6 that was surfaced, that was uh, around the world, the one that has been evidence of people holding the card saying, I physically own King of Destruction is X. So he's a match winner. He's obviously your favorite rarest card in the world. Yeah. But at the same time, why do you reference him raping Pleiades? If you've been subscribed to our channel for a long time, you notice that this man has always made clips of Zex, Zexus doing perverted things. Ow! Ralph showed him some pornographic pictures. Jimmy knew he shouldn't be interested, but, well, he was curious. Why, Kisame? Why? I need to know why. Well, actually, you want to know what it was? It was one day I saw x 6 and I was like, wow, this card looks like he's like the gatekeeper of hell. He looks like the devil. So I always kept bringing him back. So I was just like, you know, x 6 is in that graveyard. He's waiting. <laughs> he's, he's there to like take him because he's the devil. And I was like, gotta get him out before he x 6 gets him. And then after that, I just went down a, a, like a weirder road. It's just like... You went down a preferred road. Yeah. Right? Uh, he was like, hur, hur, I'm waiting to get a little of that ass. <laughs> and was like... So after that, I just, it went from that and it sounded funny and a lot of people found it funny. So I just went and I just started making footage of it so people would get like more of a vivid imagination. Yes, because people need to see yes. the rape. Like, people need to see that. <laughs> yes. you know, it's, it's not funny until you see a Yu-Gi-Oh card being raped by another Yu-Gi-Oh card. Your favorite card, raped. My another Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay, well. Rapity rape rape rape. He's a fiend. He is 10 stars, 3,000 attack points, 2,500 defense points. Um, this card cannot be used in a duel like most of the other. Cause he'll rape. Yeah. Gonna rape. Gonna rape. Gonna rape. This card must be tributed summoned by attributing three fiend type monsters on your side of the field. If this card attacks your opponent's life points directly and makes them zero, the controller of this card wins the match. So he's pretty much a match winner, just like all the other like match winners that came before him and after. Miltank apparently sold the X6 because now somebody claims to have owned the X6, like still to this day right now, which is owned by Chakra.com. And they claim on their official site that they have the card, so they officially have King of Destruction EX6 and I'm I'm mad jelly inside because it was one of those things where I would love to own EX6 but it's one of those things where it's like 
you don't, you know, I'll never have like thousands of dollars just laying at my doorstep where I'm like, yeah, because it's like, for me, it's like, I love collecting. Collecting is a big part of Especially me. Especially the match winners, yes. Yeah, and the many, I one day I would love to hold an original match winner, one of the original ultra rares that only exists two or six in the world. But I don't honestly think that that's ever going to happen for me. And I feel like, but you want to know something at the end of the day, I always walk away saying, are, Anthony, are you happy with what you have? Do you really need that? To be happy. <laughs> you pronounce the, the name EXS. The proper way to pronounce this car's name is Zexus. Zexus or Zexx, tomato, tomato, however you want to pronounce it. This car's name comes from the 1991 Konami arcade game. Zexus, which comes from Flintlock, Flint, Flint Missile, those cards it's, are also taken. This card may also be named after the Persian king Xerxes. Now, Wait, didn't South Park make an episode about that? But I know that um, EX6, the name is also based off a Japanese video game that I'll probably show so you guys could also see. Yes, his armor also resembles Kyo's armor. Kyo is the final antagonist of the Hokuto Kan, Kan no Ken series and sometimes is referred to as the Emperor of Destruction. Mm -hmm. And he resembles the, the he, would, he would make fucking tomorrow king of arm again look like a bitch. <laughs> All right, so the person that won the event, this was the deck list he used to win the event. Remember, this was 2005 and 2005's ban list. And the guy went in... Yo, this shit crazy! <laughs> this guy went in with chaos control, but go through them quickly. He had a Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning, Sacred Phoenix of the Nephesis, Jinzo, Breaking the Magical Warrior, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, Blade Knight, Azura Priest, Tribe Infecting Virus, the Wonder Why That's Still Banned, the Princess Magician, Siyuki Yomi, Didi Warrior Lady, Sangan, the Wonder Why That's Still Banned, Hand of the Nephesis against the Brown of the Card, Morphin Jar, Two Magician to Face, One Sinister Serpent. Damn, that deck would suck right now. <laughs> you go to the spell yeah. cards. Premature Burial, Snatch Steel, Brain Control, Goddamn Enemy Controller, Two Noblemen Across Sounds, Potagree, Damn, Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, Graceful Charity, Two Book of Moon, Two Metamorphosis, Two Scape Ghosts, One Delinquent Duo, Two um, Swords Revealing Light, <laughs> um, Call of the Haunted Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction, Turns of Trippy, Bomber Strap Hole, and Royal Decree. And then in his extra deck, he had $3,000 restrict. If he played that deck today, he'd get punched in the fucking face because he'd be a fucking dick. Half of his deck is banned. And now you know why some cards will never come off. Imagine that deck today. You lose. You want to know something? Because when you really look back at That'd everything... That'd be Necros. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know something? When you really look back and you see if, like, a deck looks like that... Because remember, this was 2005's world's best deck. And when you really look back at it, you really say to yourself, a lot of these, like, cards based off... Of how this guy won the event is how the game has been shifted why most of these cards not most of these cards why but a good reason why they got hit so this kind of goes back and where it's also a little yeah, that's educational the whole way Isn't it the whole purpose too. of tournaments to shed light on the best deck so Konami can fucking hit him? Um, the card that came along with him, which I don't want to talk about too much because That'll be, we'll that's going to we'll, be in the we'll next just, video. We'll discuss it in the next video. But, but what's a king without his queen? Because when King of Destruction EX6 came out, he came out with his bitch. And his bitch is with called... Ladies. True. <laughs> until, until she found out. Oh. Surprise, motherfucker! Be hard, motherfucker! The card that came out with EX6 was a card called Queen of Fate Eternia. So if you, so that's gonna be one thing for the next video. So if you want to hear about King of Destruction, Zazex's bitch, you have to stay tuned for that. Right. So you've been talking about this card. There's only two copies of it in the world. Jacker.com has it. So what's the price? How much is it gonna cost me to get me one of these King, you know, booty hole raping Zexuses? Technically, I've never seen the auction of EX6. I've never seen EX6 ever for sale because God forbid I try. But EX6 has never been. Two cents. <laughs> like, would you take 200? No! 201? How about, you know. $8,000, but it's like, EX6, I've seen a lot of the original prize cards, like the original ones that are like ultra that maybe exist five in the world can go for anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000, but roughly $8,000, so if those are the ones that are five in the world for a card that's like only one in the world, EX6 probably can go for, I personally think around, especially due to his age, because he's like, 10 years old, he's yeah. birthday. So I think he could go for like 
50,000, 55,000. You're out of your fucking mind. Yeah, you want to know something? Since he's only one in the world, it's that, like, restriction where it's like you have something that nobody fucking has. I feel like when there are multiple copies, the value is lowered and hindered. Yeah, I'm but thinking since... About, but I'm thinking about a car like Stardust Divinity. Yeah, but that that's 50 in the world. My Stardust Divinity has 50 in the world. Plus, okay. that's not even counting the Ultra. But you want to know something? It's like the original, like, Angry Karibo that only exists one in the world is like, like, like I think like 100,000. No, no, no. Oh, you're, you're, I'll smack this shit out you. Like $75,000. So, <laughs> so if something like, what? <laughs> so if something like that would exist that's only one in the world, <laughs> the King one. of Destruction probably. I want to say EX6 could go anywhere between... 40,000 and 60,000. I like to say that. That's why I feel like, trust me, if he was like $7,000, I'd be trying. <laughs> I'd be trying. I'd, I'd write to fucking Jackra.com and said, maybe we can work something out, <laughs> sir. Maybe I could set up some kind of payment plan. Fucking put a down payment on this shit. Let's work it's something a fuck, out. It's not Renaissance. This <laughs> is a Yu Gi Oh card that it's a rare whatever. I put my How much do you think the car would be worth? You. Yeah. yeah. I, the one thing is in the last... And if you had it, would you sell it? That's a good question. The one thing I'm going to say to you guys is if you guys would hold King of Destruction the x or a really rare prize card like that, if it was worth like $40,000, a lot of people would be quick to get rid of it. But uh, yeah, so the real question is would you keep it and walk around with a sell of like, oh, I'm the best or would you give it a, give it away and just buy Bassa Dax and just be rolling in a decent amount of money for like a good two years? So hit me up and tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. Don't also forget if you comment and you like the video, you would get a chance to win um, a pack of the most recent and speak, set. And speaking of the free pack, we have to announce the winner, which is bam! Right there. <laughs> if there's nothing there, if it looks like nothing's there, that means the last video didn't get the likes. But yeah, don't forget 550 likes for the segment to continue. And then you will see us talking about... King of Destructions is Zexus' is wife, Queen of Eternia. Fucking bitch. And so, since Spidey moved the subscribe box to here for some odd reason, I yeah, think... I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna move it back. It's right there. Yeah, subscribe to channel. He ain't gonna remember. So I keep pointing there when it's down here. So, <laughs> subscribe whatever fucking it, it, corner it's, it's in. It's probably right here or so, right here. So, uh, subscribe Bye. to our channel. We are trying to get more subscribers. We're trying to, like, get the channel, like, gear and ready to go and just keep going as hard as we can. So... Subscribe and like the video and tell your friends and showcase us more and you'll see more rare cards that you never heard of and more best cards ever.